Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. My name is Damien Levy. Foundation Forex Learning What are the best candlesticks for a reversal and how to trade them? In this lesson, you will learn what are the best candlesticks to take a reversal trade from the 4 hour chart and above, how to trade them when they appear at a strong level of support and resistance. Candlestick pattern. The first, the pin bar. The wicks should show clearly the rejection of one particular side, not both, and should represent at least 60% of the total height of the candle. This particular candle, for example, is a doji. There is rejection on both sides, unlike the pin bar. This one means indecision in the market. It is riskier to trade it as a reversal candle. Let's see some chart examples. Let's check GBPUSD on the 4 hour chart and see what are the pin bars there. So, here is one pin bar right here. The week right here is more than 60% of the overall size of the candle. So it's a confirmed pin bar. Just below, another one, a very nice one, maybe a bit long. Same happens here. The week is way above 60% of the side of the total candle. So this is a confirmed pin bar. If we take this one, for example, it is not a confirmed pin bar because the week is not larger than 60%. If it was right here, if the wick goes all the way up here, it would be a pin bar. It's not. Now let's look on the upside. This specific example, the blue candle with wick at the top and the bottom, this is not a pin bar, this is a doji. It shows you that the market rejected from up and rejected from down. So it's an indecision candle, there is no clear sign that the market will go down. Same up here with this one. This is a doji, rejection up, rejection down, so no clear direction that the market will go in a specific way. Now, this one. I don't believe it qualify. The length of the candle is 45 pips, so 60% would be 30 pips, so the pin bar should stop around here and it doesn't. So this is still a doji you can still see a nice rejection. So this one has a better probability to go up than the simple doji right here. Now let's continue to check our chart and let's look at the bottom. This one is a perfect example of a pin bar right here. Nice week, more than 60%, perfect one. And just after happened this one, that is borderline, but I'm not sure it will make 60% the week compared to the side of the candle, so I will not qualify it. But the rejection is strong going down. And sometimes you are more interested in what you see as a rejection power than the exact candlestick formation. So those are the examples for the pin bar. Let's come back to the presentation. Second candlestick pattern, the railroad track. So one candle up, one candle down. It's a combination of two big body candles, one up, the other down. In this example, they reject a resistance. The pattern is inversed if it is rejecting a support. They must have big, nearly equal body. They can have little wicks. Let's look some example on the chart. So same, let's take our GBPUSD pair and let's scroll down. So as I said, if it's not a perfect pattern, it's not a big deal. But this one is nice. You have one big candle going down and you have one candle taking all the way with big body up. So this is also a nice example. Not perfect pattern, but it qualifies for me. This pattern is a bit more rare. This one would qualify also, right here. The candle size are nearly the same. And once again, one big body go going up and one big body going down. And after the market go down. This one, for example, nearly qualified, 
but since you have this candle rejecting the level that doesn't succeed to go at the same level of the previous one, I will not take it in account. I will wait a better pattern. But on the left side, if you take this one, this one for me would qualify. Because big body going up and big body going down and at the same time it take out the bottom of this specific candle. So this one is a qualified, this one is not qualified. For example, this one, the first, right here, this qualifies. Candles go down and after rejected very nicely with this one, breaking the high, so perfect sign of power going up. Yeah, this is a perfect shape railroad track. Candle go up and go down, same body size, this is a perfect pattern. And after price, go down. And the last one, perfect also, this one. Very large body going down and very large body going up. Taking out the high for a few pips from the other one. And after market, make a huge move up. That was for the railroad track. So our last pattern, the angle thing candle. So you have a candlestick and just after you have a big candle angle thing the high and the low of the previous one in the direction of the rejection at a specific level of support and resistance. So it's a combination also of two candles. The second must engulf the high and the low of the first. Some teachings take in account the weeks, some don't. For me it's a matter of preference. The most important is that it must seem clear on the chart. So a lot of traders will take action based on those patterns. Also, they must show strong rejection. We are more interested in the power of the price than in an exact textbook shape pattern. But also, on the other hand, we don't want to have too much big candlestick because it will put too much money at risk to enter at the break of those pattern and not a lot of people will trade those too much big candlestick because the risk will be too much important for them. Finally, you can learn other patterns when you become more skilled in those three to get more opportunities to trade. Also note that those candlestick patterns works with good probability at a strong level of support and resistance, like what you will find in my weekly analysis. I recommend not to trade them without market structure. Now let's look at this last pattern on the chart. So same, here is our first example. See, this candle high is here, this candle low is here, and this candle angles the high and the low. This is an angle thing candle and the price likely go down. Same here. This candlestick low is engulfed here, this candlestick high is, is engulfed here, and this break up, this is an angle thing pattern confirmed. Same here. Previous candle high and low are inside this specific bar. This is an angle thing candle. It's better if the body close below, if it's a resistance, and close above if it's a support. Like for example this one. This is not a textbook because it doesn't engulf the weak of the first one right here, but the body is big and close down, so this is a nice, for me it qualifies as an engulfing candle. That's it for the examples. Different type of entry and stop loss placement. Once a candlestick pattern is formed, at the end of the candle, you will place a pending order for your entry. All those trades are reversal trades. The first entry type, which is the more conservative, is to place a sell stop at the bottom of the candle pattern if price hit a resistance, or a buy stop at the top if price is hitting a support. Now let's see visually our first type of entry, buy and sell stop. This is the resistance level on my yellow line. Price makes swing going higher and might touch the level. Then it touch. Now we need to have a candle pattern at the first or second touch of the level. It can be a pin bar, those two types for example, or railroad track, or an angle thing pattern. Then once this pattern is formed at the end of the candle, you place a sell stop in this specific example, at the bottom, plus one or two pips, of these specific candles, expecting the price to go down. 
In this specific case, you can trade the doji, because if the doji is broken up or down, it shows that the price already goes in this specific direction. It's like a breakout of the range. Now let's see the second type of entry, which is a buy or a sell limit. Same, resistance, price go up, and make a pattern. And after that, you will place a buy or a sell limit at 48% of the total pattern height. This will give you a better entry point and a shorter stop loss in the future, so you can get more rewards and you expect the price to go down in this example. In this specific example, the doji is not allowed. You don't play this specific aggressive style of entry with the doji. Now let's see the stop loss of the buy and sell stop. So remember, you place a sell stop just below the pattern if it hits a resistance and your stop loss will be above the high 2 or 3 pips. This is the most conservative way to place your stop loss. It has less chances to be hit if it's there. Then you have a second way to place your stop loss at 60% from the bottom. This stop loss is more aggressive and you have more chance to get hit but it will give you a better risk reward ratio. Now let's see the stop loss of the buy and the sell limit. So remember, we place your entry price at 50%, 48% to, to be sure to be trigger of this specific pattern and your stop loss will be above 2 to 3 pips, the candlestick formation. This is the only one stop loss position that you can apply for this specific type of entry and it will give you a very nice risk reward ratio. Now let's see the target profit placement. Target of the buy and sell stop. So remember, when you enter your sell stop, your stop loss above the high, the orange two side arrow is the risk, and you will take two times your risk as a target profit. Why two times only? Because your risk is quite great. Sometimes the candlestick are very big, so it, if you take two times your risk, it will make a lot of pips distance already. Now let's look at the target of the buy and sell stop with the different stop loss. So when you place your stop loss at 60%, in this case your risk is only 60% from the other one. So in this specific case, you will take three times for your target profit reward. Now let's see the target of the buy and sell limit. So you place your sell limit in the middle of the candlestick pattern, your stop loss, and after your target profit will be three times your risk, since your risk is quite little. Protection. You can protect your position using 1.5 stop loss value as a jump stop or trailing stop. Or you can trade your stop at every big candles on the 4 hour chart in your direction. Money management. I recommend using 2% of your account each trades. Note that this strategy provides around 20 trades per week and with a risk reward of 1, 2. If you lose 2 trades and win 1, you will still be break even. You need to win only more than 33% of your trades to be profitable. Now let's see the trade placement putting all together on the chart. So let's take a look at the OCHF chart on the 4 hour and those lines were from this week and last week. So we have, so we need the level to be touch, like right here, and it gives us a very nice pin bar. So once this pin bar is completed, you can place different type of entry. You can place a buy stop, above the eye of this candlestick with a stop loss maybe right here or at 60% of the candlestick right here which would have been triggered right here but after the price reverse and you didn't win this trade this is the first placement as a buy stop at this level now the second example of trade placement is you have the length of this pin bar and you will take 50% of it which is right here so your entry I will make it blue is right here. Your stop loss, I will make it red, is below here and your target profit is one time, one time, two time, three times. So your target profit would have been here. 
So in this specific example, we have nearly a perfect railroad track. I said nearly because the top of this candle is not hit by this candlestick. But the body are very large and reject very well with a nice wick right here. So this pattern for me is confirmed since I see a strong power going up. So with this specific pattern, you can apply the same entry possibility. Right above this point, we have a stop loss right here which is very large. And this one hit 1.5, so we, you would have finished break even right here. The more aggressive entry for this specific railroad track would have been to place your entry like a buy stop like right here and you place your stop loss at 60% right here. And in this case you would have hit your target profit three times. If you take the big stop loss, you trade your stop loss when you hit 1.5 reward which make you break even or you can take even 1.5 reward. That's possible also when you have a large stops like that. So on odd USD, you have this specific pin bar confirmed. The week is more than 60% of the total height of the candle. And you can enter as a buy stop right here. And it hits the three times reward very easily. Or you can place inside, but it will never have triggered. So the only way that works is this one with a buy stop. Sometimes it triggers, sometimes it's not. But this one made, for example, let me check, 13 pips stop loss and it made 60 pips. So it's more than 4 times your risk. And the movement is not done, I think. I think it will continue to go up. So this one won 3 reward and even maybe 4. So that's it. Let's look at another example. So let's look at gold and we will look at the, at the white line right here. So this white line has a pin bar. Well, the pin bar might not be, but it's around 60%. So it's still a good one. And additional to that, you have one of my level on my template, and you have the moving average 50 on the 4 hour chart, which is a very nice tool. So you place your entry at the top. So your stop loss is might be right here or at 60%, which is exactly at the level of support and resistance. And it made very easily the 3 reward. So your stop loss would have been 55 and we are 130 130 and actually it made uh, 300 pips so it makes 6 times your risk on this specific trade going with the trend and uh, we can take this also right here it's a very nice pin bar gold has a very nice pin bar last week and if you enter at the bottom it would have been during the break of Monday, so maybe you would not have been triggered, but I think this one made the two reward 100. Oh, it made one 180, so nearly two reward, and you would have finished the break even for this specific trade, which is against the actual trend. So, so that's it for these specific examples. Uh, this one made a nice railroad track right here, two correct body size, one up, one going down. Then, if you place your sell stop right here with the stop loss right here or stop loss in the middle uh, the aggressive would have been stopped out but the conservative one would have made more than three four five reward going with the trend also so you can also choose the trade going with the trend because it's a swing trading strategy so better if you follow the trend on the daily chart to summarize when a pin bar, a railroad track, an angle thing or a doji candle forms at a strong level of support and resistance, it gives us a clue that the market is likely to reverse. Note that from my experience, the railroad track and the angle thing candle are the strongest. Then comes the pin bar and finally the doji. The lower risk entry for those candles is at 48% of the total length of the candle. It is a retracement entry. Even if it doesn't trigger your entry all the time, it provides you a better risk to reward ratio. With the retracement entry, you can take three rewards and more with experience. If you take a breakout trade, the rewards are usually between one and two. Follow the trend to get higher probabilities of success and increase the rewards. For example, if you trade the four hour chart, then better following the daily trend.
To master this technique, I advise you to use a software like Forex Tester 4. It will show you how powerful those candles are, and also it will provide you fast experience to trade them profitably. The link is below. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.